generally police wanted to stop it. And Milosevic gave a precise order that is walking through the city of the opposition, parades of the opposition has to be stopped. So they put a military cordon in the middle of the central street to prevent going on from one side to another. So artists wanted to keep this flame alive. So the groups of artists kept changing in front of this cordon, keeping people gathering 24 hours for a month during this three months protest till 27th of January, where the police finally realized that they have to leave and to leave the public space of Belgrade to its citizens. The many artistic groups created also projects for different communities. One of the projects was extremely significant. It was a project of Anna Miljanic called Listen Little Man, homage to Wilhelm Reich. Just after the citizen protest, the, uh, which achieved change in 40 cities of Serbia, not change of the central power, people reta returned back to their homes thinking that we achieved our political battle. So we again returned to our role of little men, as Wilhelm Reich described it. So Radio B92, who in that time was a keeping the flag of the opposition and had its publishing, uh, translated the book Listen Little Men by Wilhelm Reich. The book where he accused little men, common men, us, ordinary people, for all uh, totalitarian system, fascism and communism, because we were returning to our private spaces, to our homes, telling to ourselves, persuading ourselves, we are too little, we cannot do anything, we cannot prevent fascism to come or to do. So the artists, the group of artists from Center for Cultural Decontamination wanted to devote performance to these common people, where the common people can be found. 10 o'clock in the morning in the public park. So, 11 o'clock in the municipality, 12 o'clock in the shopping mall, and so on. So, in each full hour, they prepared one performance in different urban neighborhood of Belgrade, which, deal, which has to last only 15 minutes, and which was a typical example of invisible theater in the public spaces of Belgrade. Here on the photo you have Tango on Kalimegdan, 10 o'clock in the morning, lots of retired people. Sit, usually people are living in Belgrade three generations in the same apartment. So all people usually go out not to disturb the younger ones and sitting in the open space, luckily the climate, climate is good. So the Sonia Vukicevic, our prima ballerina and contemporary dancer, she went to the public space of park and created a performance Tango on Kalemegdan, including these people who not only retire from their jobs, retire from their apartments, they retire from life, wanting to involve them in acting life. In 12 o'clock they created performance in the shopping mall. This was the unsuccessful performance. Why? Because the critical dimension against consumeristic society. The text which Wilhelm Reich has written in 47 against this buying and um, representation through goods, through what we are wearing, what we are having as objects, was not seen as criticism. It was seen as invitation for more shopping. So that's the reason I'm saying it was unsuccessful, because audience was approaching actors after performance, asking where we can buy those objects. Are you going to be every day at 12 o'clock here uh, performing or making this fashion show? The, all the sellers has been closing their shops and uh, assisting the performance because it, they considered that to be extremely interesting. Unfortunately, this sarcasm, sarcasm, this irony was not perceived as such. 
For me, the most touching action of Invisible Theatre was happening in the public bus, which connected the centre of the city with the working class periphery at 3 o'clock. Why 3 o'clock? Because in that time still, Serbia was on so-called socialist working time. Working time was from 7 to 3. So at 3 o'clock, working class workers are abandoning their jobs and going to homes. This bus, you can see different men and women, mostly women are sitting. But this bus was rearranged by artists. And artists start coming on every second stop and provoking audience by different audience, passengers in the bus, by different question. I was the only one in the bus not being participant and not being the real audience, but being kind of participant observer, following what's going on. How the actors, who also pretend to be just normal passengers, tried to reactivate those workers who just after hard working day just wanted to go home with their bags full of food to cook something for a dinner for the family, not really thinking about the elections that you can see on the uh, outskirts, on the outside of the window of the bus, the political posters of incoming elections and so on. So how to provoke them to become political actors? to take responsibilities for their own life or how to include those people whom you see here playing balote, a uh, Dalmatian game on the outskirts of Belgrade, migrants from Croatia, uh, rejected by local population because they behave as Croats. They play here in Belgrade some Croat game. They don't have a job. They don't have a citizenship. They don't have anything to do. So they gathered in front of these huge working class houses at the suburbs of Belgrade and they just play what they know to play. By the way, it was 1997. They got their citizenship only in 2000. So many artistic projects has been developed throughout the Belgrade in different neighborhoods in order to raise community integration, to help in community building. Here we can see some pictures from Dark Theater in the, one of the urban neighborhoods of the center city, Vračar, because they wanted to thank the municipality giving them some premises in one of the schools with the less and less children. So many of the primary schools in the center of the city are today abandoned or changing their purpose because there are less and less children for whom there is less and less spaces to play. But raising awareness can be also linked to different memory sites. And uh, when I show you the first project linking Kalemegdan, this was also a memory site. This is hill for thinking, as the Turks used to call this hill. Here we can see one project of Dag Theatre happening in the public bus number 26. This public bus is connecting two sides of the center of the city and it's going really through historical neighborhoods of Belgrade. Historical neighborhoods where used to live Turks, Jewish community, Armenian community, Kalmyk community, gypsies, Roma population and so on. All of them, due to different reasons, disappeared. Turks has been expelled first in 1830, then the last ones in 1860. Only one mosque has stayed in this neighborhood of Belgrade as a remnant of this old oriental part. In this abandoned part of the Belgrade, in the center of the city,